in the game of Retro here, and welcome back to Act Razor Renaissance for the PC. So I am getting pretty close to finishing out Casadora. All the monster layers are sealed. Uh, I need to get everything to a level three. Huh? That's wrong button. Still the wrong button. Ten episodes into this game, I'm still hitting the wrong god dang buttons. Oh boy. Penny lightning. Need to upgrade. Thing to three. And then I should have like another raid. Not raid, but like siege. Maybe two. And then one of these. I've been. I think it's around like five, maybe six sieges in total. That I've been doing like per area. Which wait, what's this? Gather round, my friends, gather round. Turn your thoughts from the pyramid and hearken to the good word. For I have wonderful news to share, my friends. Indeed, just last night I heard the clarion call of your beloved Lord of Light. That bald faced liar, what words does he intend to put in your mouth? They see, my friends, how mightily you have struggled to resist the allure of the accursed pyramid. And though it taxes your mind and body, they urge you not to lose hope. For you must remember, my friends, that your faith is the Lord's holy fire. Do not despair, but rather devote yourselves more fervently to the light. Pray for deliverance, and it will surely descend from on high. Thus will the Lord of Light appear and smite the devils that dwell within the pyramid. So keep the faith, stay strong, and, and keep praying. Can it be the Lord of Light said all that to you? Uh, no, I thought he froze for a second. Oh, Alonzo, words bring joy and rekindle hope. We will not fail you, O oh Lord. We will reject the call of the pyramid. Here, here, that's more like it. Wait, is that from the wilds without a horde of inconsiderate fiends willing to let us savor this moment? Shall we teach them better manners, my friends? Aye, let's. With the divine desert wind swelling in our breasts with courage. We're swelling our breasts with courage. We shall overcome this trial. Okay, you're gonna have to, like, chill your tits. Defeat the greater Ifrit. Ooh, that sounds most unpleasant. I did not like those things in the last episode. Like the little blue skulls that just fucking swarmed and just freaking destroyed all my, what was it, workshops they went after? Like, I did not like that. Okay, so I need to what? Like, Vun. At least, let me see. Vun. This is probably two, three, four, possibly. Right. Pardon me, Master, but there's someone who has to create words of gratitude. So, three, level three workshops. O oh Lord of boundless love and grace, we sing your name as we celebrate the completion of our new wells. Water is the stuff of life to all Casadors, and that is what you have granted us. O oh, wonderful Lord, we shall honor you with our works for as long as we live. Workshops to produce supplies and supplies to support the digging of wells. And the wells flows water which fuels this whole enterprise. There's a refreshing sense of accomplishment in seeing it all come together in such harmony, don't you think? Oh, I don't remember if I did the thing last time. Let me go ahead. Nope, I don't have the stuff to do it. God damn it. I actually can't remember if I did it or not. But then the original you cast um, Earthquake on this and it gives you a thing. I know member eight if I've dude that or not. Doinkus. Ooh, I need to upgrade the things. 280, 120, 200, and 280. God damn, okay. So I need 200, 280, so like 480. Meh. If anything, I might just wait and see if I can get a bunch of raids to trigger. That way I can just build up a Lonzo and see how much I can actually build him up to. Level what? Four? Yeah, that's why well, I have stuff to. Oh god, I have a lot of stuff to use. Five. So I mean, if I can get him to like level ten, 
or something. You know, that would help me out in like other areas. Or I need to summon him to kill the flying things. Or to shoot at the things from a distance. Okay, so does it really not do the thing here? Or did I just do it in the wrong spot or something? Or what? Uh, m maybe? Oh, mighty lord, the earthquake you summoned was tremendous indeed. So violent as to wound the Great Pyramid, sending stone tumbling to the sands below. Amongst the debris, we found a relic of ancient power. We present it to you, O oh Lord, whose miracles inspire wonder and awe. Legendary thingies times five. Okay, so I was just standing in the wrong spot, apparently. I think I just did it, like, directly over this or something. I don't fucking know. So, uh, yeah, so I've been busy by all these that I have. And also got him to level 18. Because I really want to see what the highest level is. And so I just kept doing raids. Like, so many raids. I just, I lost freaking count of how many raids I took care of. Because at one point I needed two to get a level. And then I needed three to get a level. So it's like ten levels. Or eleven. I don't even remember what level I was when I started. All I know is that the last couple of them I needed like... 17, 18, 19, and then I need 20 for this one. And then 20 to get to level 20, and then... Okay, I guess 20 is the highest level? Okay, so 20 is the highest level. So just imagine if I would have gotten her to level 20. How pissed off she would be in battle. But no, I forget. Okay, Power of Faith, defeat the Greater Ifrit. Destroyed, all feels burn, lots of capacity. Okay. Okay, one of those things. Master, a monster born of flame has emerged from the Great Pyramid and is clearly intent upon raising our fortifications to the ground. What is more, the accursed thing can soar through the skies with ease. All the more reason to strike it down before it wreaks a terrible havoc. Wait, soar through the sky? You mean like what you're doing? You can't stop it because why? So, fuck you! Or, unfuck you. Okay, that was a complete fucking waste. Where's he going? Literally said he's going after my fortifications. Let me see if I can, like, meet him, like, over here somewhere. Eh, no. tower. I thought I just picked up food. Oh, I think burning is like its own separate thing. It's like counting as a, uh, like, being damaged or whatever. Oh, glorious lord, at the most trying of times, your children came together and vanquished the fiends at our gates. Never before have our hearts been filled with such righteous clarity of purpose. T'was your timely past, I'm sorry, was your timely message of hope that inspired us to break free of the pyramid shackles. How weak and pitiful they were against the fate's onslaught. We shall continue our devotions and remain steadfast in our worship. All Casanova prays that your winds of fortune shall ever be at our backs. Hmm. To disguise one's words as those of an almighty god is blasphemy of the highest order. Alonso certainly earned himself a smiting. <laughs> but given the extraordinary circumstance, suppose we can look the other way, just as once. Your people have broken free of the fiend's magic. Twill not be god, I fucking hate that word. Not belong to their faith empowers you to reclaim your strength. Okay. Not too bad, I only lost a house. Almost lost a farm. And a tower. 
Lonzo, make ready. Another horde approaches the settlement. Employ y'all, redoubtable mercenary, to join us in the defense of Cassandora. Yes, yes, I've come even if you hadn't asked. Worry not. Gotta say, though, that you're a man transformed, full of fight and fire. Surprises even me, I will admit, but such is the power of our Lord's words of wisdom and encouragement. The measure of faith is all well and good, but blind belief's another matter. For all you know, you could have lied and made up the message on the spot. I mean, you yourself haven't seen or heard anything, or been held by your Lord, have you? That's the trouble with gods. No matter how much you pray and believe with all your heart, when you really need them, they're nowhere to be found. I won't ask what tragedy drove you to forsake your faith. I'll say only that it matters not whether the Lord of Light spoke to you in truth. We heard, we listened, and we believed. Thus, we were able to break free. We looked to the divine and prayed for guidance. Whence it comes of no consequence. Wait, when it comes is no consequence. Only that it came, and that we were emboldened and renewed and made better for it. Well, that's certainly a perspective. Kind at heart. Sure, the horse is okay. He's just like a house, so it's not really... It's fine. It's just a house. It's not like it's a... I don't know, but... Like a field or whatever. Two towers, are they? They got that. I hope they got that. You still hitting up from there?
Ow. Thank you, Alonzo. Our home endures thanks to you once more. Every time, I swear, people are too kind for this world. You hired me to do a job. You don't need to sing my praises every time I hold up my end. Everything I've ever done for you, Alonzo, has been for myself, after all. Oh, please, Alonzo. You're the kindest, most generous person I know. Come again? Me? Clinging to that excuse that you're a mercenary and it only for the money, even though time and time again you've come to our aid without being asked and when there's no profit to be had. Let's not forget how you rouse our spirits and helped us to reclaim our faith and overcome the pyramid's curse. Ha! <laughs> this won't do. Keep on spitting yarns about me being a decent man. God's help me. I might just start believing it's true. Oops, doing the thing. What's happening? Oh god, excuse me. Master, look, to the jewel of the warrior. Let the shard of starlight, mark of a hero prophesized, and testament to Alonzo's virtue. Me, a hero? This is a joke, I can't bring myself to laugh. That makes two of us. But the starlight shines for you, and that is incontrovertible proof. You are worthy and chosen. It is also proof that your frequent jabs and dismissive comments were insincere and simply poor attempts to keep others at a distance. For beneath the crass veneer, you're a gentle, loving soul. What? That's awfully presumptuous. In any event, you may now consider yourself a mercenary in the employ of the Lord of Light. I trust you will comport yourself in a manner befitting your station and master. Derp. Yay. I didn't even see what fucking level that was. I just say I just saw level up. I'm like, yay. Okay, so I lost the field. And a uh, couple houses. What you doing? Big nosy. Eh. Faith is cast in doors grow strong with every passing day. Ere long, the Lord of Light will be restored to their glory. Towards your passionate display of religious fervor that made this possible, Alonzo, you are deserving of praise. That's kind of you to say. A God beloved and resplendent is a sight to behold, you know. So, have you given any thought to reconsidering your attitude with regards to the Divine? Let's get something straight. I never said I was never a believer. I made a choice to stop believing is all. Same day the face chose to take my wife and child from me. If God's power is what I need to get my vengeance, then, though it doesn't sit well with me, I may rediscover my faith for a time. So you tell me then, man who makes that calculation, he's still good and decent at heart? Huh? What are you grinning about? I'm sure I have no idea. Derp. But me, have a thing to tell me. Help cast an orientation. Pop in a greater. I am well past that. Alonzo, friend. I wonder, should a last piece come to Casadora, what will you do? There were no fiends left to fight? Hmm, I've been giving it much thought. No one would need have need of a mercenary services, I suppose, to find a new trade. Move on. Every man has to eat, after all. We should be glad if you were to stay in Casadora for as long as you like, or forever, even. Not as a stalwart mercenary, but as a fellow child of the sands, as family. That's a, that's a very generous offer. A bit premature for us to talk about the calm after the storm when it's coming down hard. Still, I'll think on it. It's so easy to see now, isn't it, Master? Once you know what to look for. For all his man-of-the-road pretensions, Alonzo craves companionship. Yeah, I mean, who the fuck wants to be alone? Ooh, ooh. Rothful Starfire. Covenant. Noise. God, you fucking drama queen. Hear my words and listen, Alonzo. At this very moment, Casador's wellspring of faith swells and overflows, awakening dormant divinity and hastening the Lord of Light's advent. Tandra's champion, the golden fiend Pharaoh, shall answer for his atrocities. So the good lords to grace us with their presence, finally? Better late than never. 
a mere mortal like me would have surely died, like so many, like too many others. Where I would have failed, I believe they would succeed. So please, Lord, don't betray my fragile faith. Lay low the devil and grant us a reprieve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, I see the purpley, the purple swirl. Or the swirly purples. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One last battle. Defeat the Pharaoh. They done with the building and shit? Or they're still building. I'll just wait for that to be done just because I felt like it. It'll too. Okay. Act two. Try to active cast the wait, three out of three? What? I think wait. Uh I think it glitched out. I didn't grab any of the things in there. I don't even do act I don't even have access to act two. You silly game. Unless there isn't any, or it's like a glitch or something, I don't fucking know. Fuck it. Oh my god, you whore! Ah, no! No! I, I don't know how far I need to go. I can't go over this, clearly. No, okay. Ooh. Trying to Anubis statues. See, that implies that this would be Earth at some point, or, like, with an Earth history, why would they have, why would, like, a foreign planet have Anubis statues, which is a, like, Egyptian custom? I mean, it's still, like, a pretty cool idea. Ah, no, you big, stupid bluebird. With a sword. Or whatever you had, I wasn't sure. Ah, no. Hey. That is still cool, though. And, eh. Oh, God, I got the itchies. I see you. Ow. Magic scrolls and shit in here. Huh. So I already picked up three, but it's like, I haven't been here yet. I don't even have it unlocked. Guess maybe you just don't get three in Calcindora Act 2, maybe? Aw, oh, you monkey.
<laughs> Ow. You bastard. What else on nothing? Okay, there it is. the curator of death and dust, Pharaoh. Ow. Alright, we see here. Multiple star fire. Cost 30. Call falling stars down upon a large area, dealing damage to enemies. Really? 
Stage clear. We draw his brothers and sisters for the curse of the fiend who conjured our no more. As was ordained, the Lord of Light did descend from on high to smite the villain and deliver us from evil. Aye, that they did, it seems. Well done, Lord. It's a strange feeling it is. Now that my vow of vengeance has been fulfilled, I find myself at a loss. Aimless, directionless. Revenge sated and journey at an end. Time to settle down and try my hand at a simple living again, I suppose. But I've still some fights left to fight. A new contract, a new client. I'm a mercenary for the Lord of Light. So, Master, I thank you for slaying the Golden Pharaoh and offer you the Jewel of the Warrior in gratitude. Whenever you require your mercenary services, I'll be there. Oh, glorious Lord, with your divine winds have you banished all evils from Cassandora. Other realms must surely still suffer at the hands of Tandra and his minions. We pray you shower them with love and compassion as you did we. Suffice it to say, if Cassandora is no longer in need of your menstruation at this time, let us be off to do the things in other places. Okay. So I, did I not trigger it yet? Okay, I'm going to wait on this. So I can do like other things. Uh, so, I'm actually done with uh, Casador now. I, mean, I do have like some little side quests, but I'm going to actually just wait to trigger all that at once. So, I don't have to come, like leave, come back, leave again, and then come back again, you know. Alrighty, so Casador is now complete. Got three areas done, so I got half the game. Of course, I did spend all those obscene amount of hours here getting Alonzo's level 20. Imagine if I would have did that for the other two. I'd add easily a good... Probably two and a half, three hours apiece. Alright, um, I normally, whenever I play Act Razor for the Super Nintendo, I always come to Marana first because I find that it's easier for me to take care of Marana than it does Atos. But according to the actual game itself, you're supposed to go to Atos first. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and see how much more difficult it would be if I did it that way first. So I'll just take care of that when I come back. So until then, this is Indie Gamer Retro on ActRaiser Renaissance. Later, guys.